So, hi, Christian. Um, hi, Harry. Hi, hi. This is the first video podcast interview ever for my channel. Uh, <laughs> so, Antwerp, Berlin. So, very yes. exciting. Um, so, I'm can I'm you... I'm happy to see that. Yeah, great. <laughs> can you introduce yourself to us in a, like in a short way? Yeah, so my name is Christian. I'm from Berlin. I'm 37 years old. Um, yeah, I'm a mechanic uh, of industries. So now I uh, repair trains for the Deutsche Bahn. That's our uh, tr uh, public transport system here in, in Germany. And yeah, I, I repair ICE trains, the fast high speed trains. And that's my main job, my profession. And yeah, what else I can say? I'm, yeah, I'm born in Berlin. So this is my hometown. And yeah, I love it. <laughs> and I love the bullet. And I like what you're doing. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay. So uh, what was the first time you, you, you learned about the existence of, of bullet cargo bikes? That's, I don't know exactly a year, but that's years ago. So here in Berlin, it is, you know, the scene is very strong. You see a lot of cargo bikes. Even years ago, 10 years ago, you saw them. So, and now it's everywhere. So maybe I saw them 10 years ago, the Bullet by itself, but others, other brands too, like the Buckfeeds, you know, the smaller, easier bikes. And I always saw the possibilities with the Bullet, but I, I lost it, you know. At that time I had my car and I wasn't really a cyclist. So I lost it out of my brain. But yeah, years ago, I think. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Maybe so 10. Been... Okay. And and uh, when did you decide to to buy a bullet to to uh, start again with with cycling your cycling <laughs> interest? Yes, it's more. Uh, I, at that time, I saw the bullet the first time. I had a car. I used the car. I, I you know I was a comfy guy who just owned a car and used that. But uh, uh, I, I was starting an offshore job at that time, and my car was just standing around because I wasn't home. You know, I was just working on sea so i sold my car at that time and then i years for years i didn't had any own car or own bike and uh, when i came back from offshore and quit that job i needed to choose something because i started a new job in berlin and i needed to to have something for transportation you know public transport always full and i knew that i don't like to have a car again so I started with a mountain bike, but then I remembered about the bullet. And then, yeah, I needed to have that. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, and uh, the bullet bike you own now, that's your, your first uh, bullet bike? Yes, that's the first one. And uh, it's almost two years right now. So in April, it will be two years. So it's actually one and a half year right now. Yes. That I okay. have this one. It's the first. Yeah cargo bike ever I owned. <laughs> okay. So, mm -hmm. uh, and you do, it's, it's an e-bike, I think. Yeah, it's an, it's an yes. electric uh, bike. Yeah? Yes, yeah. you have the yeah. Shimano, the Shimano 6100 is in there. So the small yeah. motor and yeah. the smallest battery. And yeah, mm -hmm. I, I, yeah. I, I ride support it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So is any special reason why you choose for the, the electrical one and not the mechanical one? I never rode comfort. a bike before I got it. I never rode a bike 10 years for 10 years, I think. So, you know, the comfy guy with the car. So, and then, you know, you decide to buy a big bike for various reasons and you are not trained. So in that combination, yes, the decision uh, is for the motor. Yes. Yeah. That's, uh, yeah. Okay. That's the same. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, and is there a large bullet community in Berlin? I don't, to be honest, I don't really know. Maybe it feels like not always if I like to cheer anybody, sometimes people, you know, but maybe there is a small hidden community I'm not in because I'm not a cycling fanatic, you know, I'm, mm -hmm. It is my transportation system, and I'm totally in love with the bullet, so I maybe become more and more to a cyclist, but yeah. 
so it's, yeah, that's yeah. the thing. I don't maybe don't know the strong community. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. So and and is uh, is Berlin like uh, um, an easy city to cycle in? Because the I was there. I think the last time it was about three years ago. Mm -hmm. And uh, me and my wife, we were there, and we just rented the bikes from the from the hotel where we st where we stayed, and then we yes. drove around by bike. But it was not so. There was there weren't a, a lot of cycling paths, and cars are not always very uh, how do I say uh, polite towards right. uh, cyclists. Yeah. Maybe the polite thing is a general Berlin thing that we are not the politest, but <laughs> <laughs> uh, I can tell you there are more cycle paths right now than maybe three or four years ago getting better. So, but yeah, we always uh, want to have it better, of course. But if I, for example, Maddie, the cargo bike mama, was here in Berlin for two weeks, and if they took our paths, they say it's a beautiful infrastructure. So it depends from which point you are watching. We always complaining because, yeah, <laughs> of course, the Berlin, you know, the not is not most of the time very polite, and that's you, you feel at the streets too. And if you are a cyclist, sometimes it's a bit yeah, tricky. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, so uh, is the is the bullet your daily ride? Do you still? own a car or drive a car from time to time or you just I depending don't. on uh, no i don't even bullet. i don't even take the public transport anymore so since the day one i took this i, I got this bike i ride every kilometer with which i am moving in my in my city with mm -hmm. with this bike so mm -hmm. it's all day every day i'm commuting to work and i use it for all my other stuff so it's yeah it's me and the bike. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So you you say you you drive your bullet around the city, but are did you ever uh, do a longer trip with it, like a vacation, or are you planning yes. to do something like that? Yes, I. At the very first month, I think it was two weeks after I got the bullet. I took it to ride to the Baltic Sea, to the coast mm -hmm. of the Baltic Sea here in Germany. So it was, okay. I think, one direction, it was around 230 kilometers. Mm -hmm. So it took me three days to go there. I totally packed my tent and all of the outdoor stuff I got and went to the coast to visit a friend. So that was my first longer trip. Then I had a trip to Stettin to cross a border to Poland. It was actually uh, four days trip in total just quick one and i do you know weekend weekend escapes just put the tent on top and go out of berlin because we have beautiful green surroundings here and you just have to go minimum 50 kilometers and you're out of the city and in the greenery and that's therefore it's also a good thing yeah yeah okay so if you had any idea how many uh kilometers you driven up till now with your bike it's exactly 8500 kilometers in okay in, in one and a half years. years one and a half one years. and a half yeah yeah, yeah. that's it's, not bad it's a lot i i yeah. never imagined to ride a bike that hard like i do now yeah mm -hmm. it is yeah it's a deep impact for me to be honest it is yeah yeah okay yeah how do you pronounce your um instagram this. channel <laughs> The thing is, it is uh, uh, added out of my nickname here in Berlin. My friends call me Cry. Uh huh. So and uh, the B BLN that's short for Berlin. Berlin, okay. That's yeah, because you, know, you 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 use also the like the the symbol for yen for the Japanese yeah, currency. Yeah, that's see. Yeah. Yeah, that's just you know. Yeah, it's just something special in it, in it. You know, everybody yeah. sees it and wondering. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, so it's it's like it's Cry Berlin. That's the the name of your Instagram account. Yes, yeah. right. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> when do you, you start your Instagram account? Oh, the Instagram account itself is very old. It was, you know, I told you I, I work for offshore, so I was traveling a lot, 
in my private life and I was traveling a lot for my work. And that's why I had this kind of travel channel year for years. And uh, it wasn't very big, you know. And then uh, when the bullet came, I decided to bring the bullet into this uh, account because now I'm not traveling anymore that much. You know, I try to do pre pro on a private level, but not for work anymore. So, yeah, and as soon as I, came, I brought the bullet in the account, yeah, uh, it doesn't need very long to little bit, little bit blow up a little bit, yeah. Yeah, 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 it was yeah. Quick. but it, it's, quite, it's quite big, yeah, for, uh, it's around, I think, 25,000 yeah, or that. something. Like, yeah. yeah, it's yeah. hanging like there, it's hanging there right now, but yeah, you know, yeah. Instagram is just a game. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, but yeah. it's yeah, it's also a, a, a way to meet people because I got to know you through your Instagram account. So, uh, actually, yeah. it is. I, re I this year I met so many people because of the bike, because of the Instagram account, and it's cr it's crazy connector. Yeah, it is, and even through the whole world, the bullet. Yeah, I I never knew that before, but the bullet is international. You see, you yeah. see bullet here. Everywhere, so it's yeah. crazy. Even they yeah. weld them by themselves, but yeah, I like <laughs> it, you know. <laughs>